Uh, what else is in here? Uh, we have a huge duck that came down in here. And then we had to customize and eat up some of their space to get us downstairs. So that was some of it here. Um, we have same thing over here for our duck work. And we did these kind of, we're going to use architectural grills for our return. Um, what I like to use about variable capacity um, equipment is if I have to do perimeter ducting just because of plumbing or, you know, or ducting or just something, I can always do that too. Mm -hmm. You know, but single and two stage are limited. Okay. What else we got here? Ah, a lot of things that we do too is, is this is our dryer right here. And so we, a lot of people down South, they never insulate their exhaust fans and they never insulate their dryers. Now those are just BTUs waiting to come in. So a lot of the things I do is this was a really long run. Um, so I actually marked it for the inspector. I'm like, hey, from here to this 90, it's five inch, that's four feet. That 90 is going to cost me two and a half feet. I got two and a half feet there. It's six inch and then it goes up. So you're you're kind of helping the inspector. So oh, yeah. They don't have to pull their tape measure out. Pull the tape measure. And then that's when it's a long run. You want to kind of give them these things so they can know. Because sometimes the inspectors just don't know. They're checking out insulation, electrical, plumbing. So usually the inspectors in Austin are grouping all the inspections together. So imagine me just inspecting HVAC is hard enough. Imagine mm -hmm. inspectors inspecting all of that. So he, he would appreciate, he or she would appreciate that, but also it kind of helps, helps, helps you. Yeah, so yeah. we don't fail an inspection off of what it might look like. Yeah. I think we're good on that too. If you want to start closing up.